The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Well, it's a privilege and an honor for our kids to be in the NCAA playoffs, and uh, it's a great uh, atmosphere to be a part of and to be able to play in the second round of the playoffs uh, is special. It's, uh, it's special that we're playing football on Thanksgiving week. Uh, we get to be together at a time that, uh, you know, that a lot of people are with their families, and this is their family right now, and uh, our family and our coaches and their families will be together with our kids on Thanksgiving Day and hopefully having a great time together, being uh, uh, understanding what it is to be grateful, what it is uh, to know you're blessed many times over, uh, to spend some quality time with each other, and still have an opportunity to go play a great football team like Lenore Ryan. Uh, what are the challenges? What are the advantages to facing off against a team twice in one season? Oh, I, I think the challenges. Uh, we know we have got to go over there and play. They're a great football team. They're 12 and 0. Uh, that says enough about what kind of quality of football team they are. Uh, we also know that, you know, uh, the last time we were over there, we uh, had great expectations. We uh, made some mistakes early and spotted them 16 points. Uh, fought our way back. Uh, there was no give up, no quit, those kids. And uh, so uh, we know it's going to be a great challenge. It's going to be a great atmosphere to be a part of. Uh, and talk to them about, hey, we got to play like we're playing. Uh, make sure that we're Carson Newman and we play like Carson Newman. Uh, we can't get caught up in anything going around except get caught up in us. That's the main thing. Be about us. Antonio Wimbush is uh, really putting the bow on his Carson Newman career with the way he's performed down the stretch. Uh, what do you see out of your senior running back? Well, all of those kids Saturday, I, I told them in front of the whole team, that's as great of an example of running backs not being denied last Saturday, that whole game. Uh, that was kids that were, that were making great plays. Uh, they had blocking, but they were also making yards after the contact. And they refused to get beat. And that's a great example of those kids. Uh, but gosh, to see a guy like Antonio uh, uh, have over 200 yards production in a game uh, rushing the football and catching a, a catching a throw there, uh, he's he he is uh, what you look for in a Carson Newman running back. He he's setting a legacy uh, for himself and for those running backs to come in the future. Uh, he'll and the rest of your offense will have to go up against a little Ryan defensive line that is just as good, if not better, than what you saw last week uh, from Bowie State and jo Joshua Pryor, Jaquan Artis, Dan Luba. What makes them so formidable up front? Well, they're they're. They are uh, big, strong people. Uh, they move well to the football. They're they're very, very sound in their in their technique, uh, uh, and they're attackers. You know what I mean? They're going to attack the line of scrimmage the same way we've got to attack it on offense. Attack the line of scrimmage. Uh, but those guys are solid players. No doubt, no doubt about it. Gosh, when you got the defensive player of the year uh, there on that, in, in that group, and and two or three, four others around him, you know they're solid. Uh, Defensive front and at linebacker level, they're a very solid football team. How impressive is, it, impressive is it that they've done what they've done down the stretch defensively without Kyle Duggar? Well, I think that tells you uh, what kind of talent's on that defensive team. Uh, you know, Kyle Duggar is, is, is an impressive, uh, outstanding football player and has been for years in this league. Uh, but those other cats around him, buddy, they, they are uh, they're good football players. They're very talented. Uh, and they're like our kids, I hope. They've got great expectations of how they're supposed to play. Let's talk about your defense for a second. Uh, let's talk about that coaching staff. <coughs> Larry Slade and that staff have done just a tremendous job, and it was kind of a masterful performance on Saturday. What can you say about that coaching staff and what they've been able to get out of that defense? Oh, it's, it's been outstanding. And, and to watch those guys, you know, and uh, our kids understand that you can't uh, be in a situation where you give them the same look every snap. All right, you, you've got to uh, create things that they see different uh, so that you've got chances of rushing the passer or blitzing the linebacker and bringing him inside. And, and I told our kids yesterday, the whole defense, the whole offense together, you know, a year ago, two years ago, you know, this football team would have had a hard time finishing that game. And this is a great credit to them, how they've grown as a football team, how they've grown uh, maturing-wise, 
to be able to say, man, our backs are to the wall. You know, uh, we, I gave them the last few minutes of the game, 427. They got the football and they were driving it and we couldn't get them slowed down and made some big plays. And But we found a way to get an interception. And then there's a minute and whatever or two something left and we've got the ball at the one yard line or the three yard line. Two something left and we were, were able to go 30 plus yards right there and pick up two first downs and, uh, and get in my most favorite offensive formation there is, and it's called the victory formation. So a year ago, two years ago, those kids may not have been able to finish, but they did that Saturday because there was a, uh, I'm not going to be denied, I'm not going to get beat. So that, that's growing up. You mentioned that interception. Well, that spot was occupied by Darius Williams for the whole season. He's an All-American. Well, Jaquan Smith has played in sure. his career, but he comes up with that big play late. How special is that to see? Oh, and it's great for Jaquan. He's, he's a great young man. Uh, he's a solid player for us. And he's been one of those guys that does whatever he's got to do. Whatever position he's got to go in, he's going to do that and do it to his best. And to see him make a play, you know, he's a quiet guy, you know, and uh, uh, he made that play and he was excited. And, and gosh, you, you could see uh, what our football team thought about him, how excited they were for him. So, yeah, great to be in that position to get it stopped. Uh, and again, Bowie State's outstanding football team, no doubt about it. But just the way our kids finish that game, that was uh, that's playoff worthy of the way they finish that game, and they weren't going to be denied. You had a great atmosphere on Saturday. Well, you expect a huge crowd in Hickory this Saturday. Uh, what do you try to do with your team to make sure that uh, they embrace the atmosphere, but also focus on what's going on between the lines? Well, I, I think you got to understand that. Hey, this is the second round. There's 16 teams left. Is that right? I think that's it. So there's 16 teams left. Everybody else has put the stuff up. And you're going to get to play in a game of this magnitude. That is, that's great. But now, remember this. How did you get there? Right? How did you get there? Uh, and you didn't get there by going around, looking around, and counting signs and how many people's in the stands. You got there by your focus. You got there by your heart. You got there by trusting your, uh, your teammate, your team. Uh, and you got there because it was about us. And that's the kind of focus that it takes. All, all these games now, this round, the next round, the next round, all those games, they, it, it gets magnified more and more. Uh, but you got to remember, uh, we've been in a playoff mode for the last five weeks, probably, or six weeks. So, you know, our kids have had to understand that I've got to be focused. I can't let this affect me because, hey, this is what we're doing as a football team. you guys had a conversation maybe in the first half, second quarter, halftime, somewhere in there, that that play was going to be open. What's it like not only to have the perfect play call set up, but have the team execute it like that? Well, you you know, you work during the week and you try to set up uh, a special play by formation and where you think you've got the best angles, especially on the screen. You know, who's going to be the guy that's a contained player, who's going to be the leverage player, that type of thing. So. Yes, we worked it that way, and yes, uh, you know, we had sprinted out a couple times and had some success one time or two times, a couple times didn't. So to sprint out and then throw it back across the grain is has always been a good play for us here at Carson Newman. And gosh, Tyler did a great job of getting him the football and, and uh, a guy you do want the football in his hands in that kind of situation because uh, Wimbo's run that screen many, many times in his career. And a uh, great job by our offensive lineman being downfield, and the key right there was the tight end uh, on the backside of clearing it out and, st and stripping the corner out of the middle of the field, and the rest of the secondary had rolled that way. So, you know, it was just very well executed. I was proud of him. Uh, you toss in Tyler Fackerson's name. Uh, what about the job he's done at quarterback? Oh, it's just been, uh, it's been very impressive. He's been a steady player, and, you know, uh, I also talked to him yesterday about you know, we were we were playing a team last Saturday that led the country in turnovers or takeaways and those kind of things. And, you know, we, we took it away twice on our defense and we gave no turnovers on our offense. And that all starts with the quarterback. And uh, so I've been, been very impressed by how he, how he operated the offense, how uh, – and he knows this offense. He knows the checks and he knows what the play is to get us in the right plays. And, uh, and, and plus, he's a guy that all those kids got great confidence in.